Oh crap. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Uh, today I have a 2009, 2009 Prius. Uh, I came from another shop. It was towed in. It has uh, codes for cylinder 1, 2, 3, and 4 misfire. The previous shop already put four spark plugs in it and four ignition coils in it, and it didn't fix it. <laughs> Which kind of rubs me the wrong way, I'm not going to lie. It's actually one of the reasons I created this YouTube channel is because you don't have to throw parts at cars, especially, especially for ignition coils that are easy enough to check. I'm also using a new tool for this, a launch die gun. You can see, hopefully it clears up. See, I have a 1, 3, and 4 misfire. Uh, we'll go into data. Did I miss them? Alright, cylinder 1, 2, 3, and 4 misfire. All right, let's fire this up. You hear that noise? That's what happens when a Prius misfires. It's actually normal when they misfire to, to make that noise. But you can see that the misfire is so bad, I'm not getting any counters. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try this new technique. I'm not, I'm not amazing at looking at uh, exhaust waveforms, but I'm using my WPS. Um, I'm on range three, uh, zoom level three. I'm gonna stick this in the exhaust, then I'll grab a sink from cylinder one ignition coil, and uh, we'll try to figure out which cylinder is actually misfiring. <laughs> I have a burnout light, so I'm sure this video is gonna be dark. So the other ignition coils are pretty easy. Um, you just pick the wire that is not the same on all four of them. So uh, cylinder one has a yellow wire that's different than the other four coils. That's gonna be my trigger wire from the ECM. So I'm gonna fire this up and grab you guys a waveform. So I'm using a uh, one PSI scale for my exhaust pulse, that's my blue trace, and a 10 PSI scale, <laughs> a 10 volt scale for my ignition trigger, that's my red trace. Um, so I have this top dead center program loaded up. I got it for, I downloaded it from the drivability guys, uh, drivabilityguys.com. I'll post a link in the description. And you can see that every time cylinder four you see, every time cylinder four opens on the exhaust stroke, I actually get negative. Um, I actually get negative pressure in my exhaust. So I'm thinking cylinder four is my misfiring cylinder. I had to come back in the car. I want to explain why there's vacuum pulled when a cylinder misfires. So what you have, you have your piston coming down on the intake stroke. Now you have vacuum in your cylinder. It compresses. And uh, there's supposed to be an explosion, but it doesn't take place. So when the piston comes back down, you're back into that vacuum state when the exhaust valve opens. So that vacuum that is now stored in the cylinder um, basically has a vacuum pull on the exhaust. So that's why you see uh, negative pressure being pulled when cylinder four exhaust valve opens. You're able to see with a WPS or a pulse sensor. Um, but that's also why the dollar bill, the old school way of using a dollar bill and the dollar bill would get sucked into the exhaust. That's why that happened also. So I just wanted to better explain that for you. And I'm pretty confident I have just a cylinder four misfire. So I'm just gonna attack cylinder four instead of uh, all the codes that I had. Now I'm still hooked up to my cylinder one ignition coil but I'm grabbing my fuel injector and ignition coil power feeds from the fuse block. Nice thing about Toyota is a lot of their newer vehicles, I'd say within the past 10 years, all have a nice wire to grab your power feed for your ignition coil and your fuel injectors inside the fuse box. 
So it's a nice easy access spot to grab your current, to put your current clamp on. So I'm going to fire this up and I'll get you guys a waveform. So my blue trace is my current ramp for both my uh, ignition coil and my fuel injectors. My red trace is still my ignition sink on cylinder one. Uh, you can see my ignition, my ignition coils, they're pulling about 11 amps, 11.2 amps. My fuel injectors pulling right around one amp. But what you can see missing is, let's see if I can point this out, you have your have your ignition coil, ignition coil, ignition coil ramp. You have a fuel injector, a fuel injector, a fuel injector, and you're missing a fuel injector. I'd be willing to bet that that cylinder four, the one we found on the exhaust pulse, but uh, I'm going to switch this sink over to um, my fuel injector sink on cylinder four. Just like my ignition coils, I'm just looking for the wire that does not match any of the other um, fuel injectors and I know that's my control wire for my fuel injector. I also need to add an attenuator. These things may spike over a hundred volts and uh, I'm pretty sure my scope only maxes out at a hundred volts so I'm gonna add a, an attenuator just to protect my scope. here, select my attenuator, hit play, I get you guys another waveform. Oh man, I lost it. Back. So you can see, based on my red trace, which is my cylinder four fuel injector sink, that is where I'm missing the current ramp. I, I have no uh, magnetic field collapsing, so I have no voltage spike at all. I have no current, which means I'm probably looking at an open circuit. Just to check my wiring integrity, I'm going to throw a bulb in place just to see if it's able to withstand. Just to make sure my wiring is able to hold uh, a couple amps of current. I'm going to fire this up again. See my light bulb lighting. And now with the light bulb in place, you've seen a blinking. You see on the scope that it can hold the amperage. Wiring is good. It just needs a fuel injector. You guys can see the new ignition coils. I, I showed you those four ignition coils. Well, I think three of them are brand new. Three new ignition coils, four new spark plugs. Didn't fix the car. Wanted to show you guys that because right now there is a trend taking place um, with a lot of people mentioning that YouTubers are devaluing the automotive industry. I don't know, maybe they can feel that way, but I feel like untrained technicians are devaluing the industry. It's uncalled for a lot of times, you know, there, there's no reason to replace something you can easily test. I learned how to do the exhaust pulse um, from Brandon Steckler at a vision class, and I'm pretty sure I used, I learned the, uh, and I'm pretty sure I learned the current rams for the fuel injectors and the ignition coil from Scanner Danner. So, I attend both formal training and I learn from YouTube. You need both. So uh, 
check out your YouTubers, check out your Scanner Danners, your South Main Autos, uh, your New Level Autos, your Super Mario Diagnostics, your Science of Diagnostics. Obviously, you're watching my channel. Check us all out. But also attend some, some formal training. Uh, most of the YouTubers will be at uh, Super Saturday here in October. So check out the link in the description. I'll have a link to the training. Maybe you can come hang out with all of us. And uh, I guess I'll see you all next time.